So, as promised, video. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Right, okay, so I've uh, I've drawn out my curly haired girl and I've laid down my masking fluid. As you can see. My camera, I'm, I'm going to be doing this one handed, so um, please bear with me and I'm very, very nervous, so... And also, I'm going to be doing something completely different that I've never even done before. I'm going to be using my brush O's. That's my cup of tea. Um, I'm using Brilliant Red. Now, what I do with my brush O's is I cover my lids with tin foil and um, I prick them with a pin. It's easy. I can't see what I'm doing, actually, so... Show you, but as you can see, there's little. So they look a little bit like, like pepper pots. Now I find the control a lot more easier than just having, you know, a hole poked inside the, the top. So for me, I find it easier, and it doesn't come out as fast. Um, so you've got your tin full, and also I'm going to be putting on top of it plastic wrap which is something I've never ever I've never done before I just picked it up this morning I've posted a couple of pictures online and I was so happy with the results that I thought well let's try it on the curly haired girl so here we go oh hang on or one water mister which is really important now I'm, I'm gonna saturate this more than I usually do because I want the effect of the cling film you know to to be better so wetter the better so right so now what i've got here is i'm using persian blue now you'll see already that that's come out you know that is a lot of blue when it comes to brushes so what i do is i look around my picture i see where i think it's going to go and the Persian blue is very strong as well, so you don't want too much. I just kind of like dot it around. And of course then you've got to take in consideration the way your colours mix. So then after that I'll go for the yellow, which is extremely strong. It looks like she's blowing yellow bubbles. Now there's only a few holes in there. You can see my camera. But it, I suppose the more gentle you are, the better. Now, there's not a lot. Then I'm going to go for the red. Again, I'm using very, very strong colours. Um, oh, that's not red, that's blue. That's because I didn't look. Uh, which one was that? That's, yeah, this is the red one. That's okay. Now that, again, is very, very strong. And let's bear in mind that I've, you know, I've only, you know, put a couple of pricks onto the paper, um, paper, onto the tin foil. So there's going to be a lot of red in this picture. But I don't mind because I'm covering it in cling film, so that's good. Probably going, oh no, what are you doing? Well, this is how I do it. I do sometimes move it about with a brush. Or with my finger. Kind of depends really where you kind of want it to go. Not a lot of people would recommend doing that, but I'm gonna add some more yellow because I want it to blend well. I'm hoping you guys can see this and I'm sorry if it's a bit amateurish, but hey, I'm no video maker. <laughs> You know, and you, you don't have to worry too much. You just, you know, sprinkle it about. Now, this is where it all starts happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So, I've got my mister. Now, I found the further away the mist, the finer the spray, obviously. But if you was to spray very, very close to this picture, it would just, to begin with, it would just throw the powder everywhere. Um, so what I do is I spray from above to begin with and you can see the colours emerging already. 
Now I'm a bit closer there. Isn't that just amazing how it just explodes onto the paper? My only concern for this is that usually what I do is um, I like to take paint um, the paint off of the actual masking fluid but because I'm covering it in wrap. Now I think that's just oh, amazing. So that's the girl. Get some kitchen roll because I really don't want that amount of paint on my masking fluid. And there's one tip I highly recommend you guys do is just if you're using masking fluid you know try and dab off as much paint as possible um, because sometimes especially with brusher because it's so strong you know when you're rubbing it off it can sort of rub onto the paper so but that's good that's good right okay should I go for a bit more how about over here I suppose I want it wet because I'm gonna I'm going to film, cling film it. Right, so I've got my cling film. It's very hard doing this one-handed. And I am just going to lay it on my picture. So I did have a couple of people say, how have you done that? And, well, it's thanks to Robin Hall, actually. Because if it wasn't for him, I'd been thinking about it for a while, actually. Um, but never got round to doing it until I saw his work and I was just like wowed by it. Now it looks a bit like stained glass, I think that's so cool. I'm not too keen on that, so I'm gonna just mix it, move it around a bit, make sure there's some some kind of colour going on there. Now you'll find that you get big bubbles. Now that's good because where the bubbles are, it will be lighter. Fortunately, you're probably not going to get to see this, the end, you know, the, the finished result of this picture today because we need to leave it to dry. If you take it off when it's wet, the watercolours will literally just, you know, blend into each other, so there's just no point. So you need to be a patient painter. Okay. I, I mean, it's that simple. It, I just. I can't believe how simple it is and why I haven't done this before um, because the results are amazing. I think it might be a bit lighter here because I've put a lot of brush over this side but that's cool because that's where our hair is and there's a nice bubble there which you know it'll be lighter. Um, if I'm doing it wrong Rob tell me, Rob, yeah Robin sorry tell me. But you can see already where the cling films picked up the ink from the from the brusho powders, and it kind of forms into little pockets. Now I thought to myself, oh, should I do masking fluid? But it's my medium; I use it all the time, and I just thought, well, why not? You know, it's either going to work or it's not, and it's worked. So I'd like to say a great big thank you as well for. I mean, I'm over 700 likes now, and that is just amazing. I'm completely blown away I never expected it um, thank you guys so much you're so supportive and I, I just want to spread the word for everybody really because we're all in it together and um, that's why I did the post as well for um, you know for you to put your pages on my page so I can then feature you and you know and, and share so because that's what it's all about isn't it so I am going to leave this to dry overnight and then I'll do a video tomorrow of me removing the cling film and also I'll show you how I take off my masking fluid tips and stuff it's pretty easy really so so there you go so we used brushos yuck I used again I used Persian blue I normally only use three colours because they mix well Persian blue, yellow the brilliant red. Um, I think somebody from America said, "What's cling film?" Well, I 
I think you guess now. That's cling film. We're in the UK. I'm in the UK here. I think it's called plastic wrap where you guys are. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and the tin foil for that. So, okay. That's the end of my little video tutorial. I hope it's what you're expecting, um, and I hope it's helped. So you know, pick up your brushes if you've got some. If you've got a friend that's got some, borrow some if they'll let you and have a sprinkle and see where it takes you and yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow bye